So that's what a turtle looks like without its shell. I thought they would have more muscles or something. Somebody told me I could complete the look by wearing a turtleneck shirt. And uh, I don't like turtleneck shirts. You like turtleneck shirts, sir? I hate them too. I mean, it's all that extra material. It's always getting in the way. You gotta roll it down. And turtlenecks are like the foreskin of fashion. That's why you never see any Jewish guys wearing them. Uh, just found your level. Another 14 minutes of foreskin jokes, I think. You ready for those? I will roll them now. I, uh, I've been trying to look into new hobbies. Um, I've been playing a little more golf. Any golfers in the audience? Yeah. I don't like to play golf so much as I like to go golfing because I, uh, I like to look in other people's houses and that's frowned upon. <laughs> Unless you have a golf club in your hand. In which case, you know, you can bring binoculars and nobody cares. So, some people think golf's a racist sport and I don't, I'm, not, I'm not prepared to condemn the entire sport. I can tell you the optics would be improved if they didn't play their major event in a plantation and call the people who win the Masters. <laughs> and ask me what's, what's the recommendation. I'm married, I have a wife, because that's what married people do. I, uh, my wife gets annoyed with me when I introduce her as my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> She told me I need to be more empathetic, but I don't care. <laughs> she, uh, she told me to get outside of myself and try to think of people or causes or groups of people that I care more about. And uh, I came up with one. I feel bad for all transgender women who recently changed their name to Karen. <laughs> <laughs> they should get a do-over. Or, or another do-over. <laughs> I grew up in Washington, D.C., and, uh, all right, some D.C. people, and like you guys, I, I grew up following the Washington football team, Washington Redskins, and, uh, you know, it's been decided in this day and age that uh, the Washington Redskins name is offensive, and uh, I'm just not sure the new name's going to be that much less offensive from the Native American skins. <laughs> Still strikes me as offensive. I, uh, some people didn't think the name needed to change at all. They cited this uh, survey, actual Native Americans. Did you see that one? 90% of them did not mind having their likeness used as a mascot for a professional football team, um, but they did mind having their likeness used as a mascot for a horrible football team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get their point. It, it adds insult to injury. First we take their land, and then week after week they're beaten by the Patriots and the Cowboys. <laughs> that sucks. I, uh, I like name brand products, you know, uh, Kleenex, you know, Kleenex is a tissue, right? But Kleenex, and then Band-Aids for adhesive bandages, and then, you know, Karen for a bitchy white woman. <laughs> I've been thinking about my legacy, and, and, and I'm trying to find a product that I can associate my name with, but all the good ones are taken. Um, I've done some research, and, and the one that doesn't have a name brand associated with it, guys, you, you know those uh, toilet pucks that go in the urinals? Nobody's playing that, so thinking uh, nothing makes your urine smell better than Mike Freed. <laughs> I've also contemplated um, developing a product and naming it after my ex-wife, um, and uh, I've got my eye on the enema. <laughs> thinking when you're constipated, think of Cheryl Dantino. <laughs> Cheryl Dantino will clean you out. <laughs> okay.